Hello and welcome to a very special festive holiday uh, version of Feral Direct. Uh, we have an amazing guest with us here today. We have our very own Clark Stacy. Go ahead and say hi, Clark. Hi, guys. I don't know about amazing, but uh, it's a very generous kid. Thank you. I'm biased. I don't know. I think you're amazing. I think our community adores you too. Um, we, we took a couple of questions off of the Discord the other day, and one of them was, uh, people wanted to know if you've seen a lot of the memes surrounding you. <laughs> and I always, I always get a kick out of it. Um, I don't know. What are your thoughts on some of the memes you've seen? I don't know that I've, that I've seen all of them. I've seen, uh, you know, there's a few that uh, people at Wildworks love uh, teasing me with. So they'll put them up in, in Slack or or send them to me uh, just to kind of give me grief. But I, I think they're, they're pretty awesome. I think they're pretty hilarious. My 15 year old daughter especially thinks they're hilarious. So. <laughs> well, I'm glad you get a kick out of them. I know they're always meant uh, in a lot of good fun. So we're going to hop into the game now. And as always, we have so much fantastic company around City for, uh, I love seeing all your familiar faces. And a lot of new folks here too. This is fantastic. I think I actually uh, I caught wind of a pickin earlier. <laughs> I see a couple of pickins, and that's one of my goals for this live stream is I want to eat a pickin. <laughs> no, but I'm no, looking. No, pickins looking, are friends. I want to. I want to eat a red one. I'm not a finding pickin. a good red one. We can always uh, go to Mugmire Marsh, maybe. There. Yeah, is, that, is that where they come from? Yeah. I know there's a couple around there. Um, I know that uh, one of the queens in particular likes to order um, pick and nuggets as takeout. How does everybody have such a so much cooler avatar than me? Avia Ray, that is totally freaking cool. Always, a, I love the seasonal ones too. We got a lot of snowy, icy ones. You know what? Why don't we go um, in and make some adjustments then? What do you think? Should we, we uh, redesign our to, avatar? I let's do it. All right, let's do it. You, I, I do not have um, a very good visual taste, as you can tell from how I'm usually dressed. So you're going to have to help me through this. But, I think you look fine. Yeah, we have, a, we have a lot of comments too. of uh, people begging us not to eat the pickens, but we, we might have to yeah. go on a more vegetarian diet. We'll see. I, I think part of the problem is the look of the avatar because that's this is a werewolf, but it doesn't look like a werewolf that would eat a pigeon. No. Um, no. I think I, I think you you wouldn't hold it against this werewolf if it looked like a werewolf that was going to eat a pigeon. I'm so, not really going to eat a pigeon. In fact, I I just to prove I'm not going to eat a pigeon. I'm going to go a to a less threatening, maybe a, a more disarming. Yes. What's what's the most innocent, harmless looking? Oh boy. Um, okay. Yeah. I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to go with this one, but we're going to make some color changes here because this just reminds me of Pepto Bismol for some reason. Um, it has that sort of pinkish hue to it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you, you see where I'm getting at? Yeah. Um, we've got a lot of mauve here. Uh, no, 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 no. Saturated blue. Yeah, a couple and that audio is a little low. I'm trying to raise that up a bit. So my audio is a little low. Yeah, my uh, audio reading says that you're doing okay. But yeah, everyone in chat, let us know if uh, you have a hard time hearing either one of us or the game itself. I think it's because I mumble. Um, so I'm going to try and speak more clearly. And I will. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm mostly used to talking to myself. Uh, especially since COVID hit and we're not in the office anymore, I don't I don't see people very often, and uh, so yeah. you'll have to forgive me if I'm if I'm mostly used to to just talking to myself. I can relate to that. I have yeah. a couple of cats here to talk to today. They don't say too much back, so that you helps. Know, I'm, actually, I'm uh, looking for the three worst colors that could possibly go together here. Something more and neon, I think maybe? That, I think that might be it. I think this this says me because it says colorblind. And so I'm going to... Are you actually colorblind or are you making a, a comment on curiosity? No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not colorblind. I guess I'm more, you know, taste blind. 
Um, okay, good. Have awesome. Do this. Very personalized. I love it. Look at all these people. You know, oh, why don't we go nuts. explore a little bit more of City Fair? I would love to see more of the Winter Pet decorations. It is absolutely gorgeous. Our team put a lot I'm, of work into making this look super festive. Cool. I will do that. First of all, I've got to okay. follow Lemon Milk here. <laughs> Lemon Milk, you are in charge of my avatar design from now on. That, <laughs> that, a lot of power. That is, that is something that would eat a picket. Great responsibility okay. there. Yeah. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go on a little tour of City Fera with the most color mismatched animal I could come up with. And, hang on. All right, here we go. I do love all the snow and winter touches the artists have, have put together here. It's, and this is one of the, the fun things about seeing this world kind of evolve and come to life and as we add interiors to some of these places and you start to see what we can do with them seasonally and you know just just imagine what this is going to look like um so much potential. you know next next summer or you know three winters from now when this this snowman yeah. snow snow wayfarer snow whatever <laughs> the wayfarer there's what? a lot of mystery surrounding the wayfarer you get a lot of questions about that one and, uh, What's going on with that airship up there? And how do I get on that? It takes you to the different islands around. We can't get on that ourselves. But uh, the way the expanse is set up, everything is always shifting and sort of chaotic. So uh, technically, um, I believe that's how we, we do travel and travel from different expanses. Um, but that's just me theorizing. Uh, okay. I'm not quite certain. Um, now, Clark, you mentioned something earlier that was pretty poignant, actually, about the, uh, about the pandemic and about how you know, how much it's changed how we do things this year. You know, we want, we, we'd like to reflect yeah. a little bit on how much we've done this year with Pearl, with how how fantastic it's it's come together and all the potential that we have for the future. But this, this last year was nothing that we could have predicted. Um, so it's pretty incredible that we've come so far, you know, given the circumstances. Yeah. You know, when, when the the pandemic hit, it probably, ah, I'm gonna sneak up here. This is gonna be like that scene in uh, in Austin Powers where he's trying to escape everybody. <laughs> and the, the, what do I call these snowballs? And can I can I eat the snowballs? You know, I'm not sure what our official name is, to be honest. Um, I've really just, I haven't, I've made a, a very, um, uh, deliberate point of not finding out because I'm just enjoying everyone else's thoughts about it so much, but most people just sort of call them the, the dancing snowballs or bouncing snowballs. Huh. They're so cute. I, those, those are awesome. I, I love them. Oh, was that, was oh, that the blinky, the blinky dude that just flew by there? I missed it. I looked away for just yeah. a second. Of oh, there's blinky. Yeah, there's some sort of blinky demon phoenix. That is totally <laughs> cool, too. That is very cool. Yeah, so when when the, the pandemic hit, there's there's my boy. Yep, yep, knock a few out there. Gotta, gotta stay loose. Um, when the pandemic hit, it, it came at a time when, you know, a lot of the, the art direction for Feral was, was pretty established and we'd already started thinking about what it would look like in different seasons. Um, so it, it wasn't as hard to, to coordinate people working remotely. What's, Super hard though is when when the company starts working on completely new stuff, whether it's new uh, new game modes for Feral or uh, you know, new games altogether. That's so hard to get a bunch of creative people working together when you can't all just get around a, a whiteboard, um, you know, in the, in the same room together and 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 kick ideas around. Um, oh, look at the guy with the mandolin. Again, we are seeing a couple it's comments so about cool. the, the game audio. If, uh, if I could interrupt you for a sec, Clark. Can we go into settings yeah. real fast and lower some of the uh, the music volume? Is the music too loud? Okay. Just a bit. I think it's sort of overpowering. If you go down to like 20%. Yeah, there we go. That'll be good. Is that better? Okay. All right. I'm going to take this down just a little bit. 
Perfect. I can't. Yeah, I can't hear it. So, oh, this this is this is my favorite part of this game. Is look at these. These are just this is amazing. That's my favorite part of the stream. Just, every time, every oh, time, we just spend so much time kind of ooing and aahing over everyone's avatars. Like, do we want to go for just, a quest? I just kind of want to sit here and admire everybody. I know, it's mind-blowing. And you know, when we first started playing around with this character creator, um, you know, in, in early, before beta, before anything, and we started a, we started an internal channel as a company for feral show and tell stuff. So somebody would do something cool, create some cool avatar, a new, right. cool new piece of environmental art. It would go up in this channel. We still have that, except now that channel is all full of this, of you know, of what players are doing. Because what the players are doing with that character creator is just off the hook. It's just nuts. Yeah, it's it's Boom. incredible. I, I know I take screenshots all the time <laughs> of people's creations and, and share them in there. I know. Oh, yeah. I'm. Ah, oh, I'm blown away. Okay, we've we've done a little tour of City Farah here. I want to take everybody to do what is my new favorite thing in the game right now, hmm. which is uh -oh. we are going to, we're going to go to the Blood Tundra. I think I know where this is going. Come on, I was just there. Okay, here we go. All right. My my new favorite thing. I gotta find the right spot to do that. No, that's not a good spot. Um, <laughs> let's see. I gotta book off this way. Oh, good. Yes, I need some wide open space because here it is. It's running slow motion through the snow, <laughs> like I'm making a like I'm making a cologne commercial. Yeah, just right? imagine it's, the dramatic commercial music. Yeah. Lupus cologne for werewolves. See what you need is there some sort of theme. um, um, like this long hair addition to your avatar. Flowing, flowing behind me. The the music swells. And yeah. Okay. Enough of that. There's a, there <laughs> is something though that I want to uh, point out here that I think is is super important. Um. Come on. Oh, I need some of that. Is it about the blood tundra? I need globules. <laughs> too too few games are willing to lean on globules as pickup items. Um, Just stand out for that. I gotta tell you. Yeah. Where can I find some platelets? I think the platelets are near are the uh, the blood tree. Um, yeah. Go ahead right. and check. Climb in. Okay. Um, I'm lost. Chime in and correct me if I'm wrong there. I'm lost, and I've lost everybody else. Now everybody else is lost in this blind canyon. Um, yeah, let me uh, let me change the display a bit too, so we can bring the mini map back up. Okay. There you go. I think if you head, yeah, around this area, I think you'll find some, and around the docks too. It's not a good spot. But... Okay, if I go down this way, you think? For the the platelets. Yeah. Oh, there's some. There's some. Let's. Uh, I mean, let's let's just pause for a moment here and recognize that is is there any other game that actually has blood as a pickup item? I mean, not with the platelets Call of, specifically. Call of Duty doesn't do that. Cyberpunk doesn't do that. You 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 want to talk about edgy, and we have freaking blood as a pickup in the game, and we are so dark. I mean, it is called the Blood Tundra. It does make sense. And it's a whole level of blood. Again, I think it's just I think we're fine, we're fine I thought, in this sense. No, I oh, think <laughs> we had a we had some fun comments about our cinder knocked um, our cinder knocked decorations and how all the the water around Seafarer turned red. Um, but that was just to celebrate the season. That wasn't actual blood. That was Kool Aid. We wouldn't remove everyone's drinking water. That'd be awful. So, Clerk, like, I wanted everybody's, to talk... Everybody's back is turned because they're they're appalled at this color combination. <laughs> like, everybody is just 
turn their back, don't look at it. Okay. Tell me what I should uh, what I should do here, Tit. Well, tell you what, how about we first, why don't we get started on the quest? So, uh, go ahead and bring up your quest log. It's it's still fairly new, so I know folks are getting adjusted to it, but it's the um, the uh, button at the top middle of your screen. It's where your notifications yeah. come in. There you go. So we've done the first quest already on this account. So what is the next You've one? You've only done one quest on this account? Yeah. I know, we need to go through yeah, more. I like saving them for the stream, though. It's more fun that way. Yeah. Okay. So, what should I do here? This, these right. quests are locked. Prove your fishing skills. So we have to do this one next. Okay. I am ready. All right. So you need to head to, uh, I believe that's in Mudmire Marsh. All right. And... I'm not sure where we would start there, but once we teleport that, uh, then we'll see the quest icon pop up. Okay. Sporesville. That's... Yeah. That sounds gross. Spores is one of those words like moist that you, you <laughs> can't write it or speak it without it sounding kind of gross. And I'll take that over the blood tundra any day, though. Seriously? Yeah. Oh. Spores are still, just, you know, life and growing yeah, things. But, but, uh, blood is blood. Spores suggest something that's going to start, you know, growing in your small intestine and do a, <laughs> no, do a chest buster. Um, okay, this is a fishing quest. Hey, so I'm assuming. So yeah, go ahead and uh, head to the quest icon. And then, you know, one of the other things I wanted to talk about is this is the, this is our last stream of the year. You know, it's a good time of year to sort of reflect on how far we've come. We have come through a lot as a studio. Um, I myself actually didn't uh, join in the adventure until May of this year, in the middle of things. Um, but mm -hmm. even even well before that, you know, um, what was it? Uh, in March, I believe, it was when we had our second wave of closed beta players. And there was something right. interesting that happened almost that exact same day. Salt Lake City, the, the whole region saw an earthquake for the first time in something like 30 years. So yeah. three, three things happened all at the same time. We, we, we went fully remote. The earthquake happened, and then our second wave of close beta testers came into the game. Yeah. So yeah. it was it was a so lot all at once. Yeah, it was right after because we we sent everybody to work from home basically as soon as the the WHO had had made the uh, the announcement that this is a as a pandemic, um, and the earthquake happened right after that. And the reason that earthquakes freak everybody out uh, around here is because supposedly there's this Yellowstone super volcano and <laughs> Salt Lake City and Northern Utah is part of this super volcano that eventually is going to blow. And when it blows, it's going to take the entire Western US with it. And so anytime there's even just the tiniest little earthquake, I know yeah. that's where my mind goes is it's super volcano. It's time. Oh. It's, time. it's time to get in the bunker. Well, there's that region all around um, Washington State too, where it's a bunch of volcanoes. I don't know if that's connected to the yeah. lower ones. <laughs> and then I grew up in California, so I'm like Pfft, earthquake. That's fine. <laughs> when you're not used to it, it's it's pretty terrifying. Don't expect it. No, it it is. It's it just feels so wrong when it happens. Um, but yeah, it, it felt like what is going to happen next? We've got a yeah. plague, we have an earthquake, um, are there going to be locusts, um, oh, are there going to be spores? Was it locusts? It was the death, de devil wasps, death wasps, I can't remember what they were. That never, that never seemed to happen at least, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know, maybe it did. Maybe it did and we just reloaded the level or something. I'm looking for my fishing hole here. This is deeper. How See, this is why this is why um, we have guest streamers because I'm I'm kind of paying attention to the chat here. Um, I'm paying attention to the avatars 
And uh, I have no idea what you've actually really been doing, to be honest, because I'm just really enjoying seeing everyone's comments. <laughs> I, I have to pause periodically to Murder see Hornets. all these all this amazing art gathered that was around it. Thank you. shattered shattered crystal. That is just the coolest freaking dragon. And honor here is somebody who respects you know conflicting colors that don't remotely go together and um you know props brother sister <laughs> uh, I, safer i dig your look i think yes uh, you turned you like ugly colors my friend you are not wrong and i think you have set a new bar there yep yep that is totally beautiful fair. flex on that mm -hmm. i don't even know if we have names um, for those colors those are amazing like an angry bird thing. I love the angry bird. You, I think we've seen that one before that? too. Can you read their username? I can't tell from here. It's very, it's very, uh, let me see. It's kind of buried in the crowd it's, here. They're all, they're all mixed in together yeah. and there's, there's pick, there's pickings hopping around. Um, <laughs> well, angry oh, bird, you look amazing. amazing. Here we go. Yes. It's another, you gotta jump dude. Jump, another, I had it for a second. Sorry. Another... Nope. That's okay. There. There they are. Another Glossy, I think. Another Glossy. Yep. Yeah, that is very cool. But I, I still think my, <laughs> my avatar of the hour is Honor somehow finding not just three colors that don't remotely go together, but it looks like about 10 or 12 of them that are just violently fighting each other <laughs> and my, my eyes are exhausted from looking at this avatar running around me. well you know clark one um, story i actually haven't shared with you because this happened a little recently oh. um is we had a raid on discord the other day now normally raids are a very bad thing normally it's people coming in being disruptive and rude um we had a pick and raid so we had a bunch of people show up in our discord with variations of picking names um picking 30 and picking 126 and they just started to flood in and start squawking around and digging for seeds so i went okay this is going to be fun so recently we opened up a couple of role play channels in our discord so i i added the new uh emoji for the avril seeds because you know pickings need to eat right so you leave seeds um and what we, do pickings eat is that what pickings eat I would assume so. I mean, it made sense at the time. In fact, um, one of our moderators suggested it. I think it was Easy who suggested it in the first place. Um, so we started leading the pickings to the roleplay server with Avril Seeds, and we all hung out in Centuria, um, sort of taking over the space. Pickens <laughs> everywhere. It was so much fun. It was actually my first time finally jumping into the roleplay channel myself. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so yeah. It's, it's always a lot of fun. I, I don't know if you can see this. We've got this hot tub party going here, but this another glossy thinks that Pickens ate human flesh. Which oh my is, goodness! I certainly hope not. I don't know. It's a theory as to why there are no humans in this world. Maybe the Pickens ate them all. Bold um, to I don't know. I, I'm I'm open to other theories about what Pickens eat. However, I imagine they don't eat too many things different than what a chicken would in our world i would hope not I, I i get the sense the chicken thing is just a surface thing i'll bet they don't taste like chicken i don't know i've never had picking nuggets myself mm -mm. no i think they uh, i'm guessing they, they taste like potato <laughs> oh potato. the green is cool honor yes okay I, now you've demonstrated that you do have a grasp of, of color theory and um, that, uh, wow, that's that's bad. That's really bad, Shattered Crystal. No, it's just different. Um, it's I, just... I mean, it's an achievement. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> <It> is... <laughs> I, <laughs> I just, oh, man, yeah, no, turn around. That is just epic. A little twirl there. Dang. Tell you what, why don't, we right. kinda, why don't we head back to our sanctuary for a bit, actually? I know we have okay. a couple of the, the new sets thought, we want to show off. I we were supposed to go fishing. Oh, do, you, <laughs> do we still want to go fishing? I know we, we both got kind of distracted. We always get no, that's all right. Here. That's all right. I, I was enjoying the hot tub party more than, than fishing anyway. 
But we, uh, okay, you know, we have a we go back smaller to the hot tub back at the sanctuary. It's definitely not as fun though. Let's let's check it out though, because I know Kit and crew put some uh, some effort into this sanctuary, and we've got some cool stuff in there to to show off. So. Just a little bit. It's not it's not as it. cool as last month. Last month we had that awesome sort of feast laid out on a table. Um, this month is pretty cool though. We have our cozy furniture set set up in the main room and we have a bunch of the icy sets uh, on either side. And of course our winter set at all. Yeah. I think it looks like one of those themed hotels you go to for your anniversary. <laughs> Zio, how did you get up there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this no. Oh, good, good flex, brother, sister. All man. right, Clark. Props, props for that. How do you get up there, Clark? I'm Why gonna. Am I not up there? I'm gonna have to stop you for a second. Chat is going insane. So this is a question that I had asked you earlier today, because every time I come through and your name comes up, people want to know. What is your first Sona in Feral? People, people think that uh, Brody is your first Sona. Um, like Brody is my persona? Yeah, and whether or not you I, just sort of appreciate him I, as an NPC. I'm, I'm glad that you asked it while we were here in the sanctuary because it's right there. It's, it's right there? It's the, it's snow, the snow bulb? It's the snow cobalt right there. That's it's your the persona? Snowballed. That's, yeah, I feel that, I, I really do. I feel that and the... Uh, no, we, we we were talking about this before. So I was doing the mission earlier where you got the the hat village and the arrow village, and you have to get the arrows out of the hat village, etc. I I felt for the hat village guy or for the arrow village guy who had hats everywhere. Um, and he was at the end of the end of the bridge there, and he was pissed about it. And and so I was supposed to go and, and help him out, and I don't blame him. I I totally don't. I I oh, just look at the sun. Here come the aggros. There, this uh, I can't tell what animal this is, but it wants to fight me. Someone wants to fight you. Oh. I think I know who that might be. Then somebody wants to fight me. Somebody wants to fight me, but they're they're wearing this like uh, uh, kind of frilly collar thing that makes them look like a British judge, and it's. Kind of hard to. Oh, I know what you're talking about. The cute little, kind of, like, yeah, European kind of hard to look, kind of thing. It's hard to look tough when you've got a rainbow tail and a British judge collar. But hey, you know, props for trying it. And <laughs> oh, look at the Santa thing. That's so cool. This is, Aww, this, so is seriously, this is seriously my favorite part of the game is just checking out what you guys have done with our our humble little character creator it's so cool okay let's all pile into the anniversary in here and inside, yeah. Can, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. all right here we have the yeah. um i don't know what, what would you call the theme here cozy it's absolutely cozy look at this there's a bunch of cozy. like like furs and stuff laid out all all faux fur. Just disclaimer there. This, it does, these aren't, it, these aren't it any does friends. It does look cozy and warm. But yeah. You know, when I look, what are the pickens doing up there? It's Being pickens. A bunch of pickens on the <laughs> chimney. I be think careful. It's probably kind of hot, too. We don't want any roast pickens today. So here's my question for you about this room in particular. As we come over here, what is, is that a leash? This, this, There's this a, I think it's someone's the, scarf and coat, so that's like the winter coat. Oh, it's a scarf! I thought it was a leash. Okay. I was no. like, we can't have a leash in a game called Feral. Everybody's supposed to be wild and free and unrestricted. Exactly. You can't have you know, leading each other around on leashes. That just wouldn't be right. All right, scarf that's is okay. Nobody uses the scarves with leashes. So. Um, so, from here, from Cozy Room, where should I go? Oh man, get these! Look at everyone, these uh, Everyone in the chat, should we go right or left first? Uh, I'm gonna go this way. Oh, we're going this way. <laughs> and here we have the Disney Princess bedroom. Yep, yeah, it's a bit cold. Where you can you can recline on the world's most uncomfortable sofa. And... It just looks icy. I'm sure it's comfy enough. 
I don't know. It does make me cringe, though, to be honest. I think this is one of those rooms where you'd need to have, like, the weighted blanket to make you feel safe. Yeah. Because, you know. Yeah. You know, I have to be honest, I have people... one of those, and they're pretty amazing. Do you feel safe? I do. I, it's just like a big hug. You're just wrapped in a big hug, and you can sit there with your hot cocoa. Oh, which I've been neglecting. I have tea, actually. It's not cocoa today. But, and it's cold now. Yeah. Oh, well. What What would you call this room, then? Is this this like a, like is... I don't ballroom? know. Yeah, it's kind of going for the icy ballroom theme. We have all the icy floating chandeliers. Uh -huh. I think it's kind of this fun. Looks like a, yeah, yeah. If folks want to go around got, dancing. Got, I see we got a good deal on these uncomfortable couches because we, we bought a few <laughs> of them. Everyone, show us your dance emojis. We have a party. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the, oh man, look at this werewolf, it's so cool. I'm also seeing a I Steve think, running around. With all, with all of these, all these people in one room, I'm sure that some people's computers are just crawling right now. And yeah, apologies I'm for sorry. that. Although, you know, I'm our last update, uh, we did a lot to optimize some of the performance. So um, hopefully that helps make a dent in some of this stuff happening. What are German shepherds in banana suits? I'm hesitant to ask I don't, or answer rather. That, that feels like a leading question. I'm 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 sus of that question. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm lost in that too. But I'm gonna keep uh, I'm gonna keep moving here and head on another picking. No. <laughs> well, Clark, what would you like to do? Yeah. We can uh, we can head to Centuria for a bit. See if anyone's hanging out there. It is uh, City Fair's hottest nightclub, um, only nightclub okay. at the moment, but Garuda, so I'm, I'm following you there because I'm, I'm going to eat you later when I'm a werewolf again. No, we don't right. want to eat our players. It's not nice. Not ever? No. It's just rude and disrespectful. All right. <laughs> to Centuria, then. This in... Guys, you should have heard all the rules that Kit was giving me before this. Uh, I didn't give rules. All the things, all the things I can and can't talk about. Like no My secrets, guidelines. no nothing. Don't tell them all the stuff that's coming up, and um, don't don't be mean. Don't. I did say not use. to be mean. That's true, but we can talk about yeah. a few things. I don't know if we can give any specifics. But, um, what what can what can we talk about? Because I have no filter, and I will, <laughs> I will I will say whatever I think is cool at the moment. I'm going to go and allude to here. Well, People are offering up uh, offering up pickings for me to eat now. No, it, no, 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 no. The, the community has turned on itself. I've already broken. Sorry. We are everything. not eating our players. We're not eating any pickings. Okay. I know you're in charge, not, but I'm not going to let this not happen. Eating it. We're not going to eat any pickings as long <laughs> as Kitson is here. That is a rule I think, now. I think that's a fair compromise. You want me to be the boss? When, I'll be the boss. When, no eating pickings. <laughs> when Kitson is here, no eating pickings. Okay, we're not even going to talk about eating pickings. Um, but if you want to point out a particular tasty looking picking to me for maybe later, then I would not object. Okay. Sorry, I'll let you, know. you started to say what are we what are we going to allude to? You later. Um, yeah, the new avatar. So I think one of the notes that was left up on the whiteboard was some sort of math formula where the answer was two is greater than four. So it's three for, is greater than four. Two. For some reason, two is greater than two four. Is greater than four. Huh. So hmm. I don't know what what is a creature that has two of something. Oh, you know, it's like that riddle of the Sphinx. Are you familiar with this one? I'm familiar with the riddle, but you know, I, I mean, I know the answer and that still seems pretty obscure to me. Yeah, you know, the, the what is, walks somebody on Somebody is the... already flouting your, your mayo cake rule. <laughs> mayo cake. <laughs> I, th I think somebody somebody is trying to serve pickings with a side of mayo cake in this bar. <laughs> so what walks on four legs in the morning? Two in the afternoon and three at night. 
what comes on. So that's the riddle. That's the riddle of the Sphinx. Now, the I'm not saying that the answer is exactly what the next avatar is, but it's definitely related to a degree. Our so what walks on the... Seinfeld? Seinfeld. It's not Festivus, is it already? It's Winterfett. That's different. Oh, man. You know what? Um, let, me, uh, let me take a couple of, of questions from our community, too, because it's a rare opportunity to get a chance to, to speak with you, Clark. So um, one of the big questions that we got and we're still getting right now is, uh, what is it like to be the CEO of Wildworks? What is, you know, sort of a, a, a regular day for you? But there is such my, a thing. <laughs> my, my day is, I, and I really think of it this way, I work for you guys. Right? I work for you guys and I work for the artists and engineers and people who make up wild work. Um, when you, I'm, I'm the CEO because I'm the one that does not have any engineering or art skills. So <laughs> that's kind of the last position that's, that's left. I could, either, I could either empty the garbage cans or, uh, or be the CEO. So what I, what I spend a lot of my day doing is a lot of business and legal stuff that um, is, is not that cool um the boring paperwork i yeah i spent a, I spent a lot of time like um checking out what the community is doing and uh looking at at some of this amazing artwork that you guys create um it, the creation of feral and the functionality of the character creator there was seriously driven by by you guys, by the community of players in Animal Jam and what they were doing, the way that they saw their avatars and the way that they were, the art that they, was, that they were creating around those, we were like, they, they should be able to bring that to life and take it even, even further. Um, like and that. That, was a, that was a big part of what informed uh, the beginning of that. So, yeah, I spend some time with our creative team uh, talking about new games that we want to prototype, um, you know, new features that we might want to, uh, to see in our games. Um, you know, there's, there's, it seems like there's always problems to solve. There's always, uh, you know, whether it's, it's bugs in the game or you know, business problems trying to get the games into different languages. It's or, a lot to juggle. There's, there's a lot. Going yeah. Yeah, there's there's always something, but I I try to take a little time at least to do some creative stuff. Um, yeah. Because otherwise, you know, why why do this? You know, I um, I didn't I didn't get into the games industry to do business and legal stuff. I yeah. got into it to make games, right? I know exactly and what you, you mean. Yeah. Yeah, you have to do some business and legal stuff in order to, to make games. Um, and so that's, you know, that's okay, but it's, it's not why you're there. This, this is why you're there. Is exactly. Emma, it's all of you watching Emma, right now. Marshmallow, I dig your hat. <laughs> you know, and, it's, it's actually similar to what a lot of our other guests have said, too, because we've had, we've been really fortunate. We've had a lot of uh, directors of their departments and managers of their departments. And once you, once you reach a certain level in that specialty, you actually stop doing the thing that brought you there in the first place. Um, I know, I know. There's, and that's actually yeah, that's, a big reason why totally I enjoy true. community so much is because you know, there's, there's never a point in community where you're not interacting with your community. Yeah. You know, it, it might be a little yeah. bit more limited to some degree um, and definitely always more limited than I prefer. But, but yeah, I don't know. I, I think a lot of us that have worked with you um, can really understand that sort of limitation, I guess. But it is great. You always make time for, for, for keeping tabs on things. And I think people really feel that. Oh, um, this, you know, what, what we do and what, what you do, Kit, is, is kind of helping this community exist. But these, these are the people that are making it, right? Feral is just a backdrop. Feral is a set for the play that you guys are putting on every time you, you go in there. And I mean, the, the visuals that you are creating, the sanctuaries that you're creating, 
the the spontaneous role plays and things that, that you create that's that's the magic that's that's not stuff that you can put in a design document or um you know tell your investors about you can't go into a meeting of our board of directors and say we're going to have this freaking bitchin community because we have all these <laughs> super awesome artists and creative edgy nutballs who are going to come into this this community and just take the basic building blocks we put there and make it fantastically cool um you know that's that's not a business plan and i say that as an english major who has no idea what a business plan is um, <laughs> but you've learned a lot in doing this i mean you you built wild words well, I, I, what I did was uh, get out of the way of the people who were building wild works and try to remove obstacles from them doing it. That, oh my, look at that. <laughs> who's, who's that? Winter Claus. That, that's his name too, I like that. No, that character, that is a, a wolf from another dimension. A, the dimension of Animal Jam. Um, oh, look at this, Augustus. How did you even do that? That is nuts. So I'm, another, yeah, your, your, your account is going to be full of all these people that I'm following. Yeah. That's fine. That's part of the fun, too, because then we get to look forward to seeing them next time. So we, we have a bunch <laughs> of other questions, too, related to, like, what, what inspires you for Feral, you know, um... Oh, you know what? Who is uh, who's your favorite NPC? That's another big one that we get to. Can someone... we count the? Can we count the the snowballed? The snowballed, yeah. Or the, or the little snow guys. I had a feeling that you were going to say that one. Yeah. Absolutely, snowballs count, and, and they're year round too. That's that's the magic of them. Yeah. No, I know a lot of people are saying Brody, and it's just too obvious an answer. So I'm I'm not going to go with it. I think it's I'm going to go with the little snowballs bouncing around. I I couldn't tell who said that their, that their computer's struggling, but I oh, totally feel so for you. Here, yeah. um, so here's here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go run around outside so that we don't have as many people uh, on screen at once, and um, snowballs for life. That's a good idea. And then, um, you know, in a few more minutes, we'll probably have our uh, our last giveaway for the year. Our now, last giveaway? Oh, really? I know we talked a little bit about about where we've come. You know, we've we've had a lot of big steps this year. We've, you know, we've released to early access. We have, uh, we've gotten the ball rolling on mobile. Um, we are we're actually really optimistic about um, mobile becoming more available very soon. Um, probably not before the end of this year, but everyone who's pre-registered already um, will be getting a notice when it is available. And um, it'll be exactly the same as the desktop version. Um, just, you know, of course, displayed a little differently so that it fits a bit better on your phone. Um, so yeah. we're really excited that we can make, you know, Feral more more on the go. Um, we definitely have, you know, more season passes coming out. We have, um, as you know, we've already hinted, we have uh, our new avatar coming out next month and um, you know I think just to give a little bit more insight into this avatar there's there's another I guess pop culture reference I even want to say now where this creature is very fond of apples at least one of them is so if uh, if anyone knows anything related to uh, the riddle that was said earlier and uh, what might like apples and I don't know maybe so there's what, a little bit of a cinder knocked theme in there too I'm not sure if we can say that so there's some sort of nexus of Seinfeld and apples here unfortunately it has that, nothing to do with Seinfeld I gotta, has nothing I gotta to do with Seinfeld? rip that band-aid off right now okay so <laughs> all the numbers you were throwing out earlier that that was not a no nothing Seinfeld. All right, I'll lead off of that. Look at that. In fact, you can say Look. it's a show about nothing. Check out the flames on Tuxi. <laughs> oh yeah, those are the uh, oh. the um I I started calling them the the Brody horns so much that I actually forgot their real name now. <laughs> but that was a that, sounds, that was the tier one hundred. That sounds kind of dirty though. I, I don't know. Bro Brody sounds like something you can't talk about in polite company. No. 
Brody's cool. He's just a bro like the rest of us. Oh, they're all here. Okay, I'm gonna go. Uh, uh, go over here. I had to sunk um, everyone. So you, you were asking about influences for for feral. And, yeah. Why don't we talk uh, a little bit about like what has inspired you and sort of what other games you like? And once we wrap up that question, we can move towards our giveaway. Okay. So before I got into the games industry, back in the 1840s or something, um, <laughs> I was actually teaching uh, some university classes on mythology and classics and Greek and Roman athletics and uh, working on a couple of books on Greek and Roman mythology. Yeah, I know um, you and I actually bonded over that a little bit in my early days. Oh. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Before you even came on, we had kind yeah, of a, 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 a humanities, a humanities geek out. Uh, um, yeah. So, and that's that's totally how you got the job. So, if uh, if anybody here is looking to apply to our <laughs> game company anytime soon, I really recognize you. Come and make a couple of references to the Aeneid. Yep. No. Uh, um, no Greek mythology. It is officially now <laughs> vital to get into the gaming industry. This is I'm my new kidding. favorite NPC. You were asking before the favorite NPC. So the uh, the you know, the idea of a reality show for mythological animals, where you would bring together mythologies and folklore from all over the world, uh, all these different traditions, all these different cultures. You, one of the things that is fascinating when you study always won't let me fly off. When you, when you study mythology is that you, you find these commonalities among cultures that are geographically separated, separated in time. Um, but there, you know, there are certain tropes, certain myth forms that kind of carry on. And animals that are chimeras or animals that have these fantastic godlike properties are a part of every mythological tradition. Right. So the idea that you could bring them all together and have them compete in this bizarre reality show. Um, <laughs> it just—it seems like it would be not just uh, a, a great stage set for for you know, community creativity, uh -huh. but it seemed like it'd be super funny. <laughs> Sounds amazing. And oh, this is nightmare fuel right there. Oh no, it? it's one of those faces. Or, look at that. I always love seeing them too. Or, oh, that was cute. Feral. Tell me that is not cute. That is terrifying. Oh, it's cute. It's like a chipmunk reindeer. It's sad if eyes. you woke up and that was standing at the foot of your bed, you would if, not be saying, oh, If I woke cute. up, and no offense you to anyone, if I woke up and anyone here was standing at the foot of my bed, yes, I would be terrified. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at this. Vodin. Oh, I, I love the Norse reference and I love the Avatar. Very cool. Um, so yeah, that, I mean, that was, uh, that was a, when I first got into making games, it was in part because of text-based massively multiplayer games on the internet. And one of the jobs that I had in the university where I was teaching was um, I was teaching students how to use the internet for the first time. This was in the the mid nineties and um, the the web wasn't invented yet. So the you access web. the internet. Uh, yeah, you access the internet through things like Gopher and Telnet and other things that you know none of you guys will ever have to deal with. Um, but we did have massive, we did have MMO games and they were super cool and well, the they were based was. in different, different countries and the idea that you'd be playing with real people, even though it was just text based in these other countries, um, it, it, it was very inspirational. And there was one in particular that I remember called Nuclear War that um, I can probably still remember the internet address. Sounds post-apocalyptic. It was based in Sweden and was a text-based MUD, which is what we called MMOs then. Um, and so, I don't know, somebody's probably still emulating it somewhere, but it was just a really cool community like this one. And just, 
so ab ab imaginative and it just I hadn't seen anything like that before. So that was an influence. And now people are, are probably calling me around here not because they want to hear about influences, <laughs> but because they're wondering what, what you're going to give away. What are you going to give away? What are Am we going to give away? One? Well, because, again, this is such a special stream, there is an item that people have noticed some of our other staff members wearing about City Fera around the world of Feral in general. And it's an item called the Blinky Hat. Now, we still have plans to to make this hat have one? available. Can, can I look, you know, actually, I, I don't model? think we have one on Feral Direct, but we can change that soon, too. Um, we still have plans to make the Blinky Hat available for more members of our community. We, we're still sort of figuring out how to go about that, so I don't want to give anything away on that. Um, but we are going to pick, instead of our usual four, we're going to pick ten people from our stream today to win the Blinky Hat. So for everyone in chat right now, um, start giving us your avatar names, start posting them on Twitch, on YouTube. Um, we're going to pick ten lucky members, and uh, we're probably going to start throwing some uh, star fragments. Oh, I just got a Blinky Hat! <laughs> <laughs> nice. So you're gonna have to. No uh, way. You have to go and put it on for us okay. now. Yeah, I'm gonna go put it on. Oh man, I am so psyched. Where's my hat? Probably best oh, to search at the top at this point. Everybody. There's so many going, things. What a, what a noob! He can't find his own <laughs> freaking blinky hat. Well, here, there the, uh, you got it. There it is. Oh, it's a tiny little blinky. Isn't it adorable? Right. I love it. I love it. But it, I need to... We're going to have to go back to the... The werewolf? The badass. The badass werewolf. Um, and let's just throw a blinky hat on that. Yes. Such a contrast. That is the look. Uh, we're going to call that ferocious. Absolutely. You're, you're ferociously um, adorable is what it is. I just... I just totally am messing up all your nicely created avatars no no so, by all means have fun let me jump up and show off my blinky hat actually you can't really see it there you can kind of see it and we should give it away by having a race around here no i don't think we, can do that. we can't have a race around here because everybody goes the same speed but i have a head start so i think at the end of this i'm going to get 10 blinky hats Well, just to save on time, so too, because we have so many people, what we're going to do is I'm going to call out the names of the winners, um, and then after the stream ends, we'll go through and credit everybody. Okay. How Otherwise, are you going to pick them? Say again? How, how are you going to pick the winners? We have one of our moderators right now is going through and pulling names from the chat, just sort of at random. <laughs> so everyone who's saying their name. That is a, that is a scary power. It is, is scary. That, is that... Is that person like in this herd of people running around this level? Um, I don't believe they're running around in the game itself. They're just sort of keeping an eye on stream for for anyone who might be misbehaving. I, they could be though. They could be. Right? They could be. It could be any one of us. Who knows? It I mean, could be dreadnought. See, my my original understanding of the blinky hat oh, was a way cool. to to designate who was a Wild Works employee in the game to other. Who are, people who are playing. We're all going to wear them? Oh, um, I see. But I guess that ended up changing at some point. Um, so, you know, other members of our staff still have them. It's just, it depends on whether or not some of us want to be recognized in the game, too. Because usually we go into test some things and we don't, uh, <laughs> not, not all of our engineers appreciate the crowd, too. Oh, there's, there's your poster screen right there. That's your, wow. That is, that is a fine hat. Really, I'm gonna find out who who modeled that after this and and give them some props. I don't know who made it. Well, they I think they did a great job. Right, I um, just checked with their team. We're still waiting on a couple. It goes pretty fast, picking. too. And we, we want to make sure we're being fair to both Twitch and YouTube as well. So we're giving everyone who's watching a shot here. That's fair. I like that. Um. No, okay. um, why don't we head back to our sanctuary? <laughs> okay, we'll head that, back to the that sanctuary. That feels like a good place to sort of uh, round things out and uh, hang out with folks. Unless, you, unless you're enjoying walking around here, honestly, this is perfectly fine to me. I, 
I am. I I love all the, like the um, I love just watching all the the yellow arrows behind it. This is my new favorite NPC. Bellamy. Oh, Bellamy. Bellamy's uh -huh. a, a a known traitor for uh, a lot of the building materials used in in Feral. Where did we get the name Bellamy? Was that like somebody's childhood babysitter or something? <laughs> Don't know. I think it's a charming name. It is, yeah. No, not not complaining about it. Oh yeah, no. Much. No. All right. Going back to the sanctuary and back to the anniversary inn here. I love this. I love this game. I love this community. Everyone is so positive. You know. I know. So you know, I I run around in the community. I, I'm going to make a confession here. So no, I, please. I run around in the in the community, unbeknownst you all and like I was in I was in today and just there were there were some kids talking about finals and they were super stressed oh, about the finals that they had coming up and and everybody was just like reassuring them pumping them up getting like oh this doesn't happen awesome. right. in other in other games <laughs> you, know, you go on uh, you you go on other online games and it, it's difficult to find this kind of exactly. community where people are are pumping each other up and instead of putting each other down. Every, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're we're all we're all weirdos here. We can all be um, comfortable with that, I guess. We're all a little weird here. We're all a little feral. I like that. We are all a little feral. Okay, you know, Zarza Mora, you got up there with your cool avatar, so... And that's I a good you. point, too, about how we want to... How we approach things moving into the future, right? So, uh -huh. Feral is this amazing, positive, constructive community. And while we, we made a, a, actually an official post um, just around early November when 